The UK telecommunications industry hopes a satellite that has gone into orbit will help maintain its global leadership in the sector. A quarter of the world's big telecom spacecraft are made in Britain. And the new Quantum platform is billed as the market's next generation product. Quantum was launched on an Ariane rocket from French Guiana last night. Here's our science correspondent, Jonathan Amos. Another rocket climbs skyward to bolster a sector that Europe and the UK in particular has come to dominate, the business of telecommunications satellites. There are hundreds of these spacecraft overhead, bouncing TV, phone calls, broadband and other data services around the planet. But the new satellite going into orbit, called Quantum, represents a big step forward in technology. While traditional telecom spacecraft are configured before launch to do very specific tasks, Quantum has been built for flexibility. It's the sector's first fully reprogrammable spacecraft. It's able to rapidly change the coverage, bandwidth, power and frequency of its signals. One of its uses will be for disaster response, providing emergency communications to the teams that are sent in to help people and places hit by catastrophic floods or earthquakes. Quantum's manufacturers in the UK, that's Airbus and Surrey Satellite Technology Limited, will incorporate the prototype's technology into their future spacecraft, hoping to maintain their world-leading status in what's become a highly competitive field. Jonathan Amos, BBC News. Well, staying on the same space theme and something rather spectacular happening in Shanghai at the moment, a futuristic new planetarium has opened. It's around the size of five football fields and it shows off the nation's extraterrestrial exploits. In recent months, of course, Beijing's landed a spacecraft on Mars and it sent the first astronauts to a Chinese space station. Lots of interactive fun and uh, telescopes. Uh, sample there, all in Shanghai. This is BBC News. Let's have a look at the weather here. Here's Louise Lear. Hello there. Lighter winds today, but there has been quite a lot of cloud around and some nuisance showers as well. Some of those showers have been heavy and thundery. Take a look at this pretty threatening looking weather watcher picture from Luce and Kent that was sent in earlier on. Now, if we take a look at the satellite picture, you can see the amount of cloud around the brighter white. That's Storm Avert that's now in Scandinavia. So we have seen some clouds sitting across the country. The best of any breaks has been shipped through eastern areas, but you can see that real cluster of sharp showers that's developed through the course of the afternoon, stretching across South Wales, Central and Southern England, with one or two rumbles of thunder mixed in there as well. Also been a few nuisance showers to the east of the Pennines too. Now, over the next few hours, those showers should start to ease down just a touch. And as they continue to clear away through the night, we will see the cloud breaking up in places. So it'll be a quiet night to come. It'll be a slightly cooler one in Scotland, particularly in sheltered rural areas with a few scattered showers in the far north here, overnight lows generally of around 9 to 14 degrees. So we're going to start off 